otherwise known as the Hank, otherwise known as Hawkland USA. I'm Colter Hickok, I'm the student assistant for Blue Hawk football, and I am on student senate, and I probably do a lot of other stuff for DSU, and I'm just really excited to be here. And we also have... I'm Mackenzie Grubbs. I play volleyball and run track at DSU along with student senate, and we are here with the Blue Hawk game day. Here is... <laughs> and here we have another special guest. I'm going to let him introduce himself because he does a lot of stuff here at DSU. Thank you for having me, guys. My name is Kyle Smith. Uh, coming today, uh, you know, thank you very much for the invite. Um, Saturdays in the fall, I spend my time up in the announcer's booth. Uh, outside of that, you know, help out with the Blue Rock Booster Club and do a little with the Touchdown Club. I mean, sorry we only have one mic, but I mean, we had a little technical problems with the one mic, so hopefully nobody's afraid of germs here. But Kyle, thank you for being here. So I understand that you have been the announcer for the past five years. I want to ask you, is there a specific season that is your favorite so far? I think each year brings something new. Uh, there's definitely a memorable moment from every year. Uh, I first arrived at Dickinson State in 2007. So well, I think we saw a very improved Mayville team uh, that came to town. It, that's, that's really good to see from a conference standpoint. Uh, as the North Star continues to establish itself and uh, has success with DSU at the top, Waldorf at the top, Valley at the top, uh, when we, you know, to get more recognition around the country and when it comes to ratings, it's going to be really good to have those schools that have kind of been at the bottom of the conference raise up. Um, you know, Mayville threw a lot at us on defense last week. Uh, they did a five front and then they stacked their middle linebackers. Uh, they did that in an attempt to kind of uh, mess up the inside zone read for, for Drew Bodecker and Aaron White. Uh, so that was kind of an interesting look, but Coach Leno, Coach McCarville got us uh, got us adjusted at halftime, and we had a lot of success. Uh, something I saw last week that reminded me a lot of last year, wait until the second half to really get things going. Uh, the Blue Hawks last year, we, we kept a lot of teams in it in the first half. Second half, we really opened it up. Again, we saw that. Uh, but against a good Valley State team that we got today, we're going to have to come out of the gates. We're going to have to have some success on offense right away. I completely 100% agree with you, Kyle. Now, you talked about Aaron White. Talk about a quarterback that can just come in second string uh, if a quarterback like Drew Bodecker. I mean, he threw how many touchdowns? One, two last week? One? I mean, talk about just a guy who can trust if something were to happen to Drew Bodecker. I mean, Shelby Montana, just an overall good quarterback, good guy. I mean, I'm in class with him. I can say that. He's a great guy. I also want to get your thoughts on today. Like, what do you think about, is it is it too early to say, I feel like this is the game that's going to decide the North Star Conference Championship? I think coming into every season, DSU knows when and where they play Valley. This year we get them twice. We got them first at home this week. And then second to last week of the year, I think we play in Valley. Uh, both these teams know that. Both these teams know that the Conference Championship is going to go through them. Uh, like I said earlier, I think there's three strong teams. There's Waldorf, Valley, and Dickinson State. Um, we're the top right now. You got to dethrone us before anything has to go through Valley. Uh, what we should see today, uh, a little bit different Valley team than we've seen in the last four years. The Vikings lost their top running back, Louis Kionis, who was kind of a staple for them the last few years. Um, from, from people I've talked with at Valley, they're still trying to find that guy in their backfield. Uh, so today, Vikings are really going to have to rely on Jalen Pfeiffer, their starting quarterback. He's a four-year guy. Uh, this win's going to add an interesting wrinkle to it. Uh, so let's see what they're able to do on offense. What you're going to get from the Vikings on offense is a lot of different formations. They're going to really try to confuse this young uh, Blue Hawk defense. So it'll be a good chess match there. Uh, one stat I want to throw out. Last week against Mayville, the Blue Hawks played 18 different defensive linemen and linebackers. That is an unheard of number to be able to rotate in that many young guys. Uh, I know we saw last week a lot of freshmen, a lot of true sophomores getting on the field. That's great experience to get earlier in the year as we try to develop depth throughout the year. Talking about true freshmen, I mean, we had Peyton Hansen. I think he's doing a phenomenal job. We had Presley Pialate go out with the Rona. I mean, being a true freshman, stepping up that way, I feel like he did an awesome job doing that. What do you think about that? There were a ton of young guys that stepped up. Uh, not gonna lie, usually when I go through the two deep or the, the roster, I sort it and I skip the freshmen. I would, traditionally, we don't see a lot of them on the field. Last week, we really had to dive into the bank and uh, if I mispronounce anybody's name because I didn't practice, I apologize to mom and dad at home for that. Uh, 
but it was it was really good to see a lot of young guys step up and have success and not in garbage time usually young guys will get a lot of time when we're up 25 35 in the fourth quarter this was in the second quarter game still very much within reach for the comets so to get those live reps outside of hitting somebody in your own color is good I only say Peyton Hansen just because I gave him a lot of crap all the time. So he's just a good friend and I enjoy being around him, but just seeing him step up in that position, I feel like that was a very cool thing to see. So is, do you have to go do your actual job now? Yeah, I got one minute, one minute. One minute, all right. Now, Kyle, you say you have one minute before you actually have to go do your actual job as the announcer for the Blue Hawk football team. Is there anything you want to plug right now that can be seen anywhere right now on Cons Consolidated Channel 18? Oh, self-plug here. Uh, yep, yeah, make sure you go out and you know find Hawk Talk on social media. Uh, all, while you're doing that, stop by the Blue Hawk Booster Club Facebook page, uh, Instagram account, same thing with the Blue Hawk Touchdown Club. Uh, the Blue Hawk Touchdown Club is doing their annual drive right now for scholarships. If you sign up to be a part of the Blue Hawk Touchdown Club, all of your membership fees go directly to scholarships to support these guys on the field. And uh, as always, go Blue Hawks. Have a great day, guys. Thank you very much, Kyle. And also, hey, everybody at the Spur. I know the Blue Hawk Touchdown Club is right over there as well. I'm an employee over there. So if you're watching right now, which I know you are, hey, everybody. And I'll probably see this on our group chat. <laughs> so, Kenzie, we didn't have Hawk Talk this week. So I kind of want to know what was going on this week around Dickinson. Well, as you can see, we have a home football game today. Um, but so far in the upcoming events, this week in, well, I guess this coming weekend, there's a Blue Hawk Stampede Rodeo, the first, second, and third in October. And that all starts at 7 p.m. And the Cross Country is hosting their very first meet in a, well, not very first, but it's their first in a very long time. <laughs> um, that's at the Heart River Golf Course. And that starts at 11 a.m., I believe. And then finally, volleyball. We have two home games, Friday and Saturday. Um, on Friday, we will start JV at 4 p.m., varsity at 6 p.m., and then on Saturday, the games start at 1 p.m. Well, thank you very much. Now, talking back about football, last week we had Jarrett Lee was the Offensive Player of the Week. Were you at this game last week, Kenzie? I was. I was at this game. <laughs> now, Jerry Lee had an awesome game. I don't know if you remember this play, but he went at he went up in the air, <laughs> got flipped around, almost landed on his head, luckily landed on his back. I think that's this was the play that made him offense the North Star offensive player of the week. And not only that, in week one we had Isaiah Clue with the 77-yard punt return, make him the special teams player of the week. What do you think about this, the recognition for the Blue Hawks and the North Star? I think it's awesome. I think our Blue Hawks really deserve the recognition. Um, those are two great athletes, and they definitely make some great plays. And, I mean, when you make plays like that, it just stands out. So I think they deserve the recognition for those. So now I want to hear your picks in the North Star. <laughs> so, sorry, it's super windy. I'm trying to find my paperwork, I'm trying to fold that down. So, first up, <laughs> first up, we have Presentation, who is 0-2 versus Waldorf. We're at 1-1 at one one Waldorf. So, Waldorf last week lost by one to the team that we're playing this week. They lost by one point. Now, Presentation's looking for their first win of the season. Do you think that this could possibly come against the Waldorf team that they're going to play today after that Waldorf loss? I don't know. I mean, I think that Waldorf has a really good standing in the conference right now, and I think that they probably have a little more going for them than presentation does. So it could be a toss-up game, but I guess we'll just see what happens. Let's just see what happens indeed. I would really like to say that I'm voting for presentation on this one, but I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Waldorf is a great team. I mean, last year we went to there. We won by a field goal. That's what won it for us with Jeremiah Payne's kick that won the game. I would really like to vote for presentation on this one, but I think I'm going to take Waldorf in this one. I have to agree with that. I... We were supposed to have a game, Mayville versus Dakota State. 
That game is postponed until November 14th as Mayville has a player who tested positive for COVID. So they're going to take precautions and not play this game this weekend just because they want to make sure that everybody's, everybody's going to be safe, happy, healthy, and just not get COVID. Um, Dakota State's volleyball team also had three cases of COVID. So our game that was supposed to be today actually got postponed until October 17th. So kind of rough time down in Dakota State also. <laughs> and lastly, in the North Star, we have today's game, Valley City State versus Dickinson State, both teams two and two. This team is, or this game is going to be an all-out battle. I mean, we have two 0 and two or two and O teams that are just going to brawl until the game is over at 0-0 in the fourth quarter. I wish I could be less excited, but I am so, so excited for this game. Like, there is no deniability that this game is going to be the North Stars game of the week, which I wish they still did, but don't anymore. So, bold statement: This is the North Star game of the week. You heard it here first. What do you think about that? Yeah, I'm really excited to watch this game. I, they both have our both the teams have a lot to offer, and as far as athletic ability, um, two and all kind of makes it interesting for both of them. I think it's going to be a great game. So, like we talked about, Valley only beat Waldorf by one point, 17 to 16. This was a game to the very end. So, we also had the Blue Hawks. The Blue Hawks won single like pretty handedly against Mayville Comets last week, 51 to 26. There's never a day where I'm never gonna bet against the Blue Hawks. So I'm taking I'm taking Blue Hawks today. I won't tell you the score because I don't want to jinx it and I don't see any wood around me to knock on it. So I'm taking the Blue Hawks today. There's my prediction right there for you. I mean, can we really vote against the Blue Hawks? I don't think so either. I say Blue Hawks also. So I mean, we already talked about the events for today. Uh, this is that'll be around Dickinson. Uh, you can catch us on Hawk Talk Wednesday, Thursdays. Am I right, Ron? <laughs> Thursdays. You can check us out on Thursdays on Consolidated Channel 18 and our YouTube page. You can also check us out on our Twitter page, which is DSU Heritage Fond, and also our Instagram, which is DSU Foundation. And not only that, if we weren't also your co host for Hawk Talk, Kenzie and I have been nominated for a homecoming candidacy from DSU Student Senate. It seems like we can never get away from one another. What do you think about this? You know, I think it's exciting. I think it's fun. I think we're a good team. So I like being on Hog Talk. So go check us out and see what you guys think. Think how we like each other. Otherwise, this would be really awkward. As you can hear, we got Kyle announcing right now. He was actually doing his big boy job. So. I think, it's, I think it's time for us to sign out. I gotta go do some football stuff. Kenzie's gonna go watch in the stands, have a great time up there. So I think we're ready to sign off from here. And with that, Hawks, Hawks are up. up.